Hey, this is Ryan Jones with Serverless Guru. In this video, we're going to be tackling another plugin. The plugin we're going to be tackling today is called Serverless Plugin Include Dependencies. So what this plugin does, it solves a common problem where when you're deploying your Lambda functions, the package size can get quite large. And so what this plugin does is it makes your deployed functions smaller. So it says it does this by enabling you to add your node modules folder to the exclude list then individually adds each module that your handler depends on. So what that looks like in the code is it does a glob pattern and it says exclude node modules. And then it looks at your code and it individually adds the dependency that it needs and excludes the other ones for you. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a project. We're going to deploy a Lambda function, see what the package size is. And then we're going to use this plugin and see if we can make it smaller. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So go ahead and open up your terminal. For me, I'm using Hyper, so I'm just going to open this in a separate tab. Clear that stuff away. I have to get to my actual serverless courses. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to make a new directory called serverless. We're going to call this plugin include dependencies. Okay. I'm going to CD into that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is do SLS create dash dash template dash AWS dash JS. And then we're not going to give it a path because I've already created the directory. And then what we're going to do is instantiate npm. So we're going to do npm init dash y. And then we're going to go ahead and open this up in Atom. The first thing that we're going to have to do before we can install the plugin is we're going to have to change uh, this actual package.json. I'm just going to add a one to the end um, since this is, uh, a, it's not the actual plugin that's coming from npm, it's our own. So we have to change that, otherwise we'll hit errors. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and Fill all this commented code. Just going to kill all this. Okay. Now we have one function using the AWS Node.js 6.1 runtime. We're going to change the service name to serverless. Copy paste it. Go. So now what we can do is we can actually get ready to deploy it. So I can run SLS deploy. Um, it doesn't look like we have flags there, so that's fine. So I'm just going to do dash V. Naturally, it's going to have a region default of US East 1, and it's going to have a stage default of dev. And so what we're going to do is we're going to deploy this. We're going to look at the package size, and then we're going to basically um, yeah, try to reduce it. So um, right now, we don't have any things installed, so before we do this, let's actually look inside of our package.json. We have nothing there, so let's go ahead and install some stuff. npm install requests. Uh, we'll save that dash save. save. Cool, so we just got this package.json there, we got requests, and then we have our node modules, and we have all these now. Okay, so now we can do um, there's actually a package command. So before we do this, let's actually check the package command. Because if we can do this, yeah, it's a serverless package. Packages your entire infrastructure into the dot serverless. So we can do it this way and then we can inspect. Um, so let's go ahead and run that and just see kind of what happens. Um, so serverless package, um, and then we'll just leave it like that. So I created this dot serverless folder. Inside this dot serverless folder, it has our plugin include dependency. So we can see it's 765 kilobytes. So now what we can do is add in the plugin um, 
called serverless plugin include dependencies. So we'll copy this name again. We'll switch over and run npm install dash dash save serverless plugin dependencies include dependencies. It doesn't actually need to be inside of our dev dependencies, or this needs to be in our dev dependencies. So we can do dash dev. Okay, so this just install. We can see that there, dev dependencies. And now what we can do is go over to here, inside of the, re the repository, and we can follow their steps. So we need to add this plugin section. We can add that below provider. And then we need, so this is optional. We don't actually need to add this. This is being added automatically in the background. We'll just leave that the way it is. You always have to have this custom section when you're working with, um, when you're working with these plugins. So what we're gonna do first is we're not gonna add this custom because it says that this is optional. So we don't actually have to say include this dependency. We can just skip past that. Um, so now we can just basically run a deploy and we can see if it actually is smaller. Close to SLS package. Look at this. So we can see that the total size is eight kilobytes. And so this is this is kind of important, right? Because like we just took it from like nine hundred or seven hundred to eight. Um, it basically recognized that we didn't have the requests library being utilized, and it took it out. So from just a from just the baseline right there, that's going to make your functions faster. It's going to increase. Uh, it's going to speed up the cold starts. Um, and and so if you're not running like a warm up type thing and you're just running like a really basic lambda, um, you're going to have to deal with cold starts where the function takes longer to spin up because what happens is it takes it from a Docker container uh, or basically takes your code and then puts it onto a Docker container and then runs that lambda code. Uh, but it takes time for it to actually clone it down and then actually start running it. And so that time is what they call a cold start. So what will happen past that point is it'll keep, um, if you keep making requests to the Lambda function, it'll keep it warm. And there's another plugin uh, called, uh, I think it's serverless plugin warmer. Yeah, so this plugin right here, serverless plugin warm up, it will basically keep your function warm uh, by using a cron job that hits it every you know two minutes, three minutes, ten minutes, um, and so that's really interesting. But yeah, so that's kind of the that pretty much wraps up this video pretty quickly. If you want to jump in, jump into any of the other advanced features, you can look at that. Um, but actually, for our purposes, we were already Im immediately able to see just by running a uh, SLS package what this um, plugin is actually capable of. So as you get into bigger projects, maybe you're doing something with like binary files or something like that, and the package size ends up becoming really big, um, this, this will basically allow you to uh, like limit that uh, and make it even smaller. So yeah, uh, this was Ryan Jones with Serverless Guru. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.